Hi, hello, welcome back to home school. This is your class 7 mathematics, NCRT or CBSC board. We are in our first chapter integers and in our previous class we have seen about all the properties. Right, today in this session we are going to start our second exercise. That is exercise 1.2. First main, write down a pair of integers whose you have three sub-questions and your first one is A sum is minus 7. Sum, sum means you should remember plus sum is minus 7. You take the two integers. If you add, you should get minus 7. Any example you take, don't by heart the numbers. Any numbers you can take. Think such a way that if you add these two integers, you should get minus 7. Okay, let me take the two integers as minus 5 minus 2. Minus 5 minus 2 are the two integers. Remove from bracket minus 5 plus into minus minus 2. Both the numbers are having negative sign. Take the negative sign and add the numbers. Minus 5 plus 2 will be 7. Is it right? Similarly, you can take two or three examples extra and practice in your buff notes. Shall I see one more example how you can take? Minus 7, right? Uh, you can take an example of minus 10 plus 3. Minus 10 plus 3 gives you minus 7. Okay, like this you just think and practice some more examples. Option B, difference is minus 10. Difference means minus. Difference will be minus 10. How can I find this? Take two integers. Pair of integers said. Take two integers. Such a way you should get minus 10. Here already negative you have. So let me take one positive value here. And here I am going to take a negative value. Minus 8. Minus 8 and 2 are the two integers. The difference of these two integers will be minus 10. Let us check it out. Minus 8 minus into plus minus 2. Both are negative. Take the negative sign and add the numbers. Yes. Okay, you need to write only first line. Just simplification I am showing you in the second line. Next one. C. Sum is 0. When you get sum 0, suppose if one negative number is added to one positive of same number, negative 2, positive 2 if added. What happens? Minus 2 plus 2 cancel, your answer will be 0. Or you may say 2 minus 2 is 0. What are the two integers we have taken here? Minus 2 and 2, sum is 0. Second mean, you have in the second three sub-questions, first one in it, A. Write a pair of negative integers whose difference gives 8. And this time here, difference minus gives 8. And the two integers must be negative. What is your question? Write a pair of negative integers whose difference is 8. How can I get this one? Okay, let me take a greater number here. Then what happens? Minus and minus plus it happens. Let us take minus 10. Then if you multiply signs plus 10 it becomes. What you do to get plus 8? Minus 2 is another integer. If you take 10 minus 2 will be plus 8. Right? So what are the two integers? The two negative integers are minus 2 and minus 10. When you simplify this, minus 2, minus into minus plus 10, 10 minus 2 will be 8. Okay? Second one in this, B, write a negative integer and a positive integer. Write a negative integer and a positive integer whose sum is minus 5. When you add one negative and one positive, you should get minus 5. Minus, when you are going to get, think a little here. Minus, when the number is 
greater we take the sign of greater number so i think this might be the greater number so let me take minus 10 and here plus 5 the two integers are minus 10 plus 5 minus 10 plus into plus plus minus 10 plus 5 what happens one number is negative and another is positive then Subtract the smaller number from the greater number and take the sign of greater number. So, minus 10 plus 5 will be minus 5. Okay, is this clear? See, don't buy hard numbers. I have taken 10, 5. You can take any other number. To understand, take my number. But to practice, you choose your own numbers. See, write a negative integer and a positive integer. Write a negative and a positive integer whose difference, the difference means minus is equal to minus 3. When you are reading the question, you should be able to frame this. Take a negative integer and a positive integer whose difference is minus 3. Minus 3 how I can get? Here it is again negative. If I multiply plus into minus, it will be negative. Right? So, I may take here minus 2 plus 1. Minus 2 plus 1, what happens? Look here, remove from brackets. Minus 2 minus into plus minus 1. Minus 2 minus 1. If both the numbers are having negative sign, take the negative sign and add the numbers. 2 plus 1 it will be 3 that is minus 3. Is this clear? Like this the two integers one positive one negative they say first put a positive symbol and then negative symbol and we need to sum or difference read the question carefully put in middle and the result you need to write with the equal to. So these type of integers sum and difference if you are perfect Nothing will be difficult in future. So, practice makes you perfect in mathematics. Third one. In a quiz, team A scored minus 40, 10, 0. You can see here, team A score is minus 40, 10, 0. And team B scored 10, 0, minus 40 in three successive rounds. Which team scored more? Can we say that we can add integers in any order? A quiz is conducted between two teams. Team A, Team B. Team A has scored in three successive rounds. Their score is minus 40, 10, 0. And Team B has scored 10, 0, minus 40. And your question is, which team scored more? Can we add the scores in any order is your question. In order to find which team scored more, how can we find? We need to sum the score, right? Total, total score, total score of team A is equal to total score, sum of the three successive scores. Minus 40 plus 10 plus 0. Add these. Minus 40 plus 10. What happens? 0. You can leave. If you add 0, same number you get. Minus 40 plus 10. 1 is negative, 1 is positive. What we need to do? Subtract the smaller number from the greater number. And take the sign of greater number. Greater number have a negative sign. Take this sign, 40 minus 10, it will be 30. Therefore, total score of team A is equal to minus 30. Similarly, find the total, total score of team B. Total score of team B is equal to, add the scores. 10 plus 0 plus minus 40. 10 
plus 0, you can skip that 0. When you are adding 0, same value you get. And this one plus and minus, minus 40. 1 is positive, 1 is negative. Positive, no need of writing always, plus sign. 1 is positive, 1 is negative. Subtract the smaller number from the greater number and take the sign of greater number. 40 minus 10 will be 30. Take the greater number sign, minus. Therefore, team B, team B score is also minus 30. Team A score is also minus 30. Therefore, total, therefore total scores of, total scores of team A and team B both are same. Yes or no? Total scores of team A and team B both are same. With minus 30. Minus 30, minus 30. One more sub question asked in this. What is that? Can we add the numbers in any order? Yes. Yes. We. Yes, we can add the numbers in. In any order. By which property you can say? Due to. Commutative, commutative property, commutative property. Total scores of team A and team B both are same. Yes, we can add the numbers in any order due to commutative property. So, let's see the last main in this exercise. Fill in the blanks to make the following statements true. In this main, we are going to remember the properties. So, see the first one, minus 5 plus of minus 8 is equal to minus 8 plus of dash. I think you remember a property, what it is? Commutative property, that is A plus B is equal to B plus, what, what is that gap? What is that? B plus A. This is commutative property and they have given the statements are true. By which property it is true? By commutative property. If I take this is A and this is B, B already there. What is missing here? A. What is that A value? Minus 5. That's all. Over. It is very simple this name. Remember the property according to that you can substitute. Second one. Minus 53 plus dash is equal to minus 53. With what you add to get the same number? We have seen what it is? Identities. What is the additive identity? If we add something to this number, we get the same number. What is that? That is additive identity 0. If any number is added to 0, we get the result same number. So, here I can write it as a plus 0 is equal to a or if you want you can write here I can say this by commutative, commutative property and now this one by additive Additive or zero identity also you can say or additive identity also you can say. Zero is called additive identity. So accordingly we get this answer. Now for 17 what you add to get a zero. So what you are going to add to get zero. If we add its inverse. If we add its inverse we get zero. That is 17 plus of minus 17. Add it to inverse. If you add the inverse of this number, if you add, you get 0. This number, additive inverse is minus 17. If you add the two numbers, you get 0. Fourth one, 
13 plus of minus 12 plus some number there. Okay, three numbers. Which property you remember? Associative property. Let me write this as A plus B plus C. Okay, is equal to A plus B plus C. What is associative property? You can write A plus of B plus C is equal to A plus B plus C. Or A plus B plus C is equal to A plus B plus C. Now, here A you know, B you know, C missing. To make the statement true, we have in RHS side, A value, B value, C value there. So, what is the C value? Minus 7. Finished. By associative property, I can make the statement true. Okay. If you want, you can write the properties there. Next, last one. Minus 4 plus of 15 plus of minus 3. A plus B plus C. Minus 4 plus of 15 plus of minus 3. Again, I think it is in the form of associative property. Let us write A plus of B plus C is equal to A plus B plus C. Yes or no? Same you are going to get. A plus of B plus C is equal to A plus B plus C. A value is minus 4, B value 15, C value minus 3. And here which term is missing? C term. A value known, B value known. And what is the C value here? Minus 3. That's it. This is only the missing number. If you want, write the properties. These two are associative property. Okay? Is this clear? Let me discuss once again. A plus B is equal to B plus C. Commutative property under addition. Okay? Next one. A plus 0 is equal to A. Add it to identity. And here, sum of a number and its inverse gives you 0. 17 plus of minus 17 equal to 0. And next one. A plus B plus C is equal to A plus of B plus C. Associative property under addition. And the last one. A plus B plus C is equal to A plus B plus C. This is also associative property under addition. Okay, is this clear? With this, we are going to complete this exercise 1.2. We are going to meet in our next session with the next exercise. Until that, keep watching. Thank you all.